Hello, this is the Bobo VR M2 strap for the Quest 2. There's the box there. And um, there's been a lot of reviews on this on YouTube, on Amazon, that have been very positive for this particular head strap. And uh, my review is not going to be as positive, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll get to that in the moment. First off, let's take a look around this head strap. Um, it's easy to fit. It's made from very nice materials. I have to admit, it's uh, nice and solid. It's got flex there, it's not something that's going to snap, it's not brittle. Um, nice mix of materials, it fits well with the look of the Quest 2 with the colour. You know, perfectly matches. And um, yeah, it looks the part. It definitely looks the part. And um, materially, it feels like it's uh, going to do the job. We have some very nice cushions pieces there. So the back, that's Velcroed on. Not that you need to remove it, but it is well velcroed on. So it is the forehead part as well. Again, really, really soft. That's something I think is a, is a very nice feature of it. And you have these um, bits at the top, which are um, just rest on top of your head again to provide some support. You can see they flex a bit and they do have, again, Velcro pads on there. Again, very soft. So all very good features. Another thing I quite like about this is um, the hinge point here allows it to become a slightly more compact unit, makes it more handy to, you know, to put on a table to carry around. I think that's kind of a nice feature as well. Um, it does come with this head strap, and I'm, I'm not sure if it, what the point of this head strap is. It's there, I think maybe it's just a carry handle, if I'm perfectly honest. As um, If you look in the instructions, it doesn't even make a mention of this or fitting this. It's all about kind of the, the fittings and fixtures elsewhere. Uh, but it's there, so I don't think it provides support, but you do get this uh, head strap on there. You know, don't worry, don't really worry about that. Uh, the back, you have a uh, really good ratchet as well, so you can hear it clicking away. Feels really solid. Uh, there's no um, there's no kind of spring in this. It's just um, elastic and it'll hold on hold on to your head. But you do have the soft pads on the back, so you're not going to really crush your head. So yeah, you know, all very good features so far. Um, it seems to be a nicely made product and good materials. So where it falls down for me, unfortunately, is um, I can't get this to hold in one place on my head. And if it's to do with the centre of gravity on this. And then the problem is, if we look at the centre of gravity, which is understandable, it's going to be front heavy. And you can see a head strap, you know, a Quest 2 is always going to be front heavy. It's always going to do that. So what you need from your head strap is to support everything, hold in place, and to just hold it up into a kind of a, uh, you know, a, a flush kind of horizontal position like that. Unfortunately, what I discovered with this is when I put it on, what happens, um, it feels comfortable to wear. I put it on, it feels good. You align it correctly, but it slides forward. It always wants to tilt forward. It always feels like it's a perpetual tilt motion. So for me, it always feels like this is how it should be. It should be, it should be uh, you know, straight on. It always feels like it's in this slight position because the problem is um, the support doesn't really hold it in place. It's comfortable to wear there's no doubt about that it's nice and soft but the problem is it always when I put it on it always wants to slide forward because there's no grip on here it's a slick surface with the pleather um, the weight balance is is front heavy and um, I find that what's happening is it's tilting and the distribution of the weight it feels like it's resting on my cheekbones on this part here and it's really light there so it's actually not providing a lot of support that unfortunately this head strap as soon as I put it on, it you know it feels comfortable, but um, I can I but I, I can feel it ever so slightly moving, slow, 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 and I can actually hear it rubbing against my hair from this pad. I can hear it kind of like as, as it rustles against my hair as it always tries to settle in this slightly slight position where it's slightly angled, and um, I find it kind of distracting, annoying, and not quite right. And you may consider, oh well, if it does that, you just kind of tilt this forward you know, with the on the hinges and just kind of straighten out. Well, what happens there is then it just wants to tilt again, more forward again. So it's always in this position where it's always trying to wave forward on your head. Um, no one's mentioned this in other reviews or at least reviews I've seen or all I've seen is positive reviews. So as far as I'm concerned, unfortunately for me, this is not a fit for purpose head strap. I've used other Halo head straps, PSVR, uh, Windows um, Mixed Reality headsets. They typically used the early ones used um, a halo strap and I had a Lenovo uh, Lenovo one and that worked absolutely fine 
Um, and I have other headsets. I have a Valve Index, CV1, HTC Vive, kind of know what a head strap's supposed to do. And I've also used other head straps on this. And unfortunately, this doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't support it. So it doesn't kind of clamp at the bottom of your head. It's in that sort of position. So there's no friction. There's no friction there. And it always wants to push forward. So this could obviously could be me. Um, not everyone's going to maybe have this problem. I've seen reviews which are everyone's bigging it up or people just aren't reviewing it properly. I don't know. But for me, it just doesn't work. If it had... Um, a rubberized back piece like say on the PSVR then it would provide some grip and I think that would work and it would hold it in place and I think that would be great um, or if it had more ballast at the back I mean I was thinking about how could I weigh the back down because if I if I hold the back when I'm wearing it it feels perfect and it just needs a little bit of extra weight there um, I, you know, I was thinking of adding some, you know, sticking some weights on the back of here um, I'd like to put a battery back, pack on the back of here but there's no points where you can actually put anything on here so that wouldn't work and that's too thin really to put a battery pack on there I have tried um, I have a uh, um, I do have a kind of a battery pack strap and it just wobbles around because it's just far too uh, thin so that doesn't work either so yeah as it stands uh, a comfortable product to put on initially but but soon afterwards starts tilting I can feel this position where it's just weighing in on my cheekbones and not really doing what it's supposed to do it doesn't hold in place um, massive shame really because um, it has some good properties it is a comfortable well-made product when you put it on but then it soon does this tilts forward and um, it doesn't feel flush it doesn't really affect the sweet spot I find I can view okay but I'm always aware of it always feeling like it's in this tilted position and it should be balanced it should feel like it's always staying in one position and particularly you know using it for a long time you know when you're wearing a VR headset for several minutes an hour more you know it needs to stay in one place it needs to be comfortable and <clears throat> it just doesn't do it for me you know it just kind of settles in there and it stays in you know when it's there it's it's there and you can play games you can play golf games I played uh, walkabout mini golf and you tilt your head forwards and it stays in place in that position and also you swing your head around and it sort of stays in place but it always settles in this slightly angled position and I haven't managed to get it to stay flush um, so yeah unfortunately not for me not fit for purpose um, I'm gonna have to look elsewhere for something better but yeah massive shame massive shame because um, it, it looks the part really nice materials you know I have to say they've done a, a good job on constructing this thing but the fact is, if it doesn't fit on your head, if you can't wear it properly, then it's no good to anyone. So there you go, guys. That is my review for the Bobo VR M2 strap for the Quest 2. Not good enough for me, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, hope you found this video useful. Take it easy and bye-bye.